Hey guys, good morning. It is spring here and right now we are working on taking care of our lawn that we have in front of the office, which is artificial turf. So turf is something we do a lot of. So right now I'm getting this area prepped for the season because we have not done anything with it in forever. So let me show you what you do. This is our front office. This is an area we did turf in. If you see there's some weird lines and patterns, you're probably looking at going, what the heck is going on here? What that is that you're seeing is some of our divot sand I've already put down. So turf is a great alternative to having grass, especially if you've got pup like we do and a lot of people that come and go, uh, very low maintenance. So I've got this area that we turfed probably about four or five years ago and we have not touched it, done anything with it since then. This is the first time we're actually gonna go and add some divot sand. So what divot sand is, if you see it here, it falls between the bristles of the, of the grass and it helps it stand upright and it helps it just look thicker and lusher. So that's what I'm working on. That's what I'll show you today on our YouTube video. And I'll do just some promotion for our pup, our Weimariner Shea here, who's being good to hang out with one of our guys so that they can be an example of, you know, this is naturally what happens with uh, turf. It's used either for kids, dogs, or people who have a lot of shade and just don't want to have that maintenance. Um, turf is a great alternative and over time it's cost effective but it has very very little maintenance so all the stuff you used to doing with your lawn with sprinklers watering it all that are eliminated you don't have to worry about any of that anymore you just have some simple maintenance and what i'll do now is i'll hand the camera off and i'll show you what the maintenance is which is really very very simple What we use is a regular divot sand. I know a lot of people have other materials they use. This is just a regular green divot sand. They do make a pet friendly one, really expensive. Um, a hose and a couple minutes will do the same thing that that will do and it'll save you a lot of money. So what you take, and what we do is we take 50 pound bag, open it up, and we'll spread it around. Now for this video, I'm doing it by hand. If we were doing a big area, I'd actually have a spreader that I would walk around with it. But I figure it's easier by hand just to show it here. Saying that doing it here, we'll do it with a hand broom just to sweep it in compared to using a power broom, which is if we're coming to do it at your house, we're gonna use it as a power broom. It's something that isn't done very often been about four to five years since we did it here that's probably your average you know if it's something you have a landscaper on it a lot where they're blowing all your leaves and your mulch and your everything and it disappears real quickly might do it a little sooner just because if they blow it in this they will get that green particulate out but not something you have to do on a daily or weekly or even yearly basis again this has been four plus years so this is kind of the reason you end up pulling someone like us, you know, bags are 50 pounds. If you have a big enough area, it's gonna get difficult for you because you'll get about 50 square feet out of a bag. Um, so big yard, you could use, you could use 20, 30 bags. Most people aren't gonna carry it around in their vehicle as well as plug and unload that to get it done. So you take it, spread it out, kind of try and get it even, and then you take your broom and you're gonna sweep it in directionally, back and forth, and you'll see it start to disappear. Then you're gonna go the other direction. Now, if you notice a lot of the discoloration that was there from the sand, it started to disappear. 
What it also does, it makes those bristles of the, the grass stand upright. Makes it so it looks a little nicer. The grass has a dead thatch mixed into it. So by do doing this, it lets it the sand settle through the dead thatch. The thatch stand up so it looks more realistic. This is something that is easily done. Spring is your best time to have it done. You know, so if it's something you're interested, if it's something you had turf with us, or even if you didn't have us do it, call, reach out to us and we can help you. what it looks like divot sand applied swept in and it looks great give a quick fresh look to the lawn bristles are standing up higher than they were the past couple years so thanks have a good one